Hey everyone, this is Jade, Promise Fellow Leader with the Minnesota Alliance with Youth, and today I'm here to show you how to enter daily and weekly interventions in the Encore system. So the first step is to log in. And once you're on your home page, you go to Reporting, Cost Submit Reports, click on Student Tracking, and then whichever student you want to add an intervention for, you'll click on Add Weekly Intervention for that student. Uh, make sure you click on the correct week that you're entering this intervention for. Um, so I'll just stick with the current week to keep it simple as an example. And now here's where you're going to record all the interventions that you've done throughout the week. Uh, you can come in here every day and add them as you go or just um, have them in a planner or somewhere, um, some sort of system that will help you remember at the end of the week uh, everything that you did with your focus listing so that you can enter this information accurately. Um, one of the most important things on here is to uh, choose the correct category of intervention that you provided, whether that was a caring adult intervention, a service and service learning intervention, or an out of school intervention. Um, and you can only choose one of these at a time. Um, so you couldn't choose that it was a caring adult intervention and an out-of-school intervention. Even though that may seem applicable, um, you need to choose the one that is the most relevant and seems to make the most sense. And it's also important to know that service and service learning is the only one um, of the three categories that is timeless. Um, so service learning and service could be taking place during school or after school or somewhere completely different. Um, so the time on that does not matter, whereas a uh, caring adult intervention is something that's happening during the school day, um, and out of school is something that's happening after the school day, um, or somewhere other than the school. So for an example, let's say I had a 30-minute lunch group with fake students. And then let's say I had other focus list students of mine also in that lunch group. You can click on select group and make it a group intervention. So let's say all four of these other students were there as well. So I click on all the ones that were involved and then click on save involved. And so then they're also saved into this intervention. And so once you save this, it will be saved on their profiles as well. Um, so if it was a lunch group, that would be a caring adult intervention. And then once you have everything filled in, you just click on save, and you'll know it's saved when it's no longer in a blue box, it is now white. And then if you had another intervention that happened the same day, which is totally possible and will happen a lot, you would simply click on add new, and then this screen will come up again in blue, and then you'll enter that information, and then if you had another one, you click add new again, and then you would be able to scroll between them and see all the interventions that happened that day. Um, and if you ever mistakenly add an intervention, you can always delete it. It will remove it from the entire system. And so let's say I also had that same lunch group uh, with the same youth on Wednesday as well. So you could type it all in again, but if you don't want to do that, you could simply say copy from Monday, click copy, and then now this is copied everything from over here, and you can make sure that that intervention group followed as well because it says four students are currently saved here as well as over here. Um, if you don't want to include the group in the update, you can always uncheck this box, but it makes it a lot easier instead of having to add the group each time. And it's important to note that if you edit this group intervention, all of the students that you attach to it will also update only if this box is checked below that you include the group in the update. So if you're changing something just for one student and you don't want to update the intervention for everyone else, you can uncheck this box. So then once I've copied that lunch group information from Monday into Wednesday, I'm going to click Save. And then that will be saved. And then I can add any other individual or group interventions I had through that week. Um, same process. And then if you had anything happening during the weekend, that's also available over here. And then, um, if you need to enter more individual interventions for other students, you can go to this drop-down menu and pick whichever student you need to uh, work on next. 
and then make sure you have the right leaf that you're looking for. Uh, another quick thing I forgot to mention is that when you delete an intervention, it only removes it from the current student intervention. So for example, um, if I deleted this intervention, um, and I go down to the next student that was in that group, uh, you can see that that intervention is still saved in the system for that student. Uh, so when you do delete something, you will need to go through and make sure that it's deleted for every student if that is indeed what you're trying to do. And then also to show you what it would look like if you had more than one intervention entered into a day for a student, I'll click on Add New. And let's say I had a 15 minute check in one on one with the student. That would be 15 minute caring adult intervention. And I click Save. And then now here we have intervention saved. Uh, there's a third one saved because I was playing with this profile earlier, but um, it should have said one of two. But because I was playing with the account, there was another intervention saved previously. So you can just click between these and look at all the interventions. Um, and then you'll see this green check mark, which will confirm that your interventions indeed have been saved. And ideally, we would like you to have at least one intervention a week per student, but we know that's not always doable um, for a number of reasons. Uh, so don't um, get worried if you see the red X up here for a couple weeks um, for whatever reason. If it's a legitimate reason, um, don't worry about that. Just enter all of the interventions that you have done. Uh, so that is everything about entering interventions. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to your trainer. Thank you.